Life is made of wonderful moments. It's the people you meet, the memories you create, the little laughter, the gentle brush of nature on your hands, the walk on cobbled stones, the spontaneous road trip. They all add up into a wonderful life well lived. But life is not valued until a disease strikes. And there is a disease called syringomyelia. Syringomyelia is a disease in which cysts, also called syrinxes, form inside the spinal cord. These cysts can expand over time and damage the spinal cord from the inside out, including the spinal nerves, resulting in widespread physical symptoms and pain. Small cysts and large cysts can result in widespread physical symptoms and moderate to severe pain because the cysts can damage the spinal cord and the spinal nerves. This can lead to permanent nerve damage, paralysis, and in some cases has caused death. Syringomyelia may be caused by the following. Congenital abnormalities such as Chiari 1 malformation, a condition where the bony space of the skull is smaller than normal, forcing the cerebellar tonsils to protrude through the skull and down into the spinal canal, blocking the flow of cerebrospinal fluid, causing cysts to form inside the spinal cord and can cause hydrocephalus as well, spina bifida, scoliosis, and myelomeningocele can cause syringomyelia. Spinal cord injury including trauma, spinal tumors, arachnoiditis, and infections such as meningitis can cause syringomyelia. Hemorrhage can cause syringomyelia. Syringobulbia is a term used when cysts affect the brainstem. The brainstem regulates many important functions of the body, such as blood pressure, heart rate, breathing, and temperature regulation. We know that ongoing medical management is crucial to monitor the disease syringomyelia. Without ongoing medical management, syringomyelia may progress, resulting in permanent nerve damage, complications, paralysis, and death. Once identified, syringomyelia is a disease that requires a team approach to treat because it can be complicated and involve multiple systems of the body, depending on the part of the spine and the spinal nerves that are damaged. Who can have syringomyelia? Men, women, children, and canines can be born with or develop syringomyelia. Some cases of syringomyelia are reported in more than one family member. There is a familial link. Symptoms of syringomyelia may appear suddenly and worsen rapidly or may appear gradually. Symptoms may have periods of exacerbation along with periods of stability or remission as well. They include Headaches, intracranial hypertension, hydrocephalus has been reported with syringomyelia. Symptoms can include dizziness, nausea, vomiting, visual changes, headache, and whooshing in the ears consistent with each heartbeat. Moderate to severe neck, shoulder, and back pain. Muscle weakness and atrophy. Reduced skin sensations, such as not being able to feel extremes of heat and cold. Autonomic dysfunction, including reported variation in heart rate, temperature, blood pressure, and breathing abnormalities. POTS dysautonomia cases have been reported with syringomyelia, as well as cardiovascular abnormalities. There have been cases of heart failure reported with autonomic dysfunction linked to syringomyelia. Shortness of breath with exertion, difficulty breathing, shallow or forced breathing, hypoxia, and central and or obstructive sleep apneas have been reported. Loss of bowel and or bladder control can occur, or constipation and problems emptying the bladder have been reported as well. Sexual dysfunction, depression related to lack of support, loss of friends, loss of job, disability, and financial struggles have been reported. The presence of a cyst, whether large or small, on the spinal cord can damage the cord and the spinal nerves over time. Small and large cysts can cause widespread symptoms and pain. If you are having symptoms, it is important to follow up with your primary care. 
pediatrician, or treating physician who can order an MRI. Once syringomyelia is confirmed by MRI, your doctor can refer you to a neurosurgeon to determine if surgery is an option or other treatment options. Once evaluated by neurosurgery, your primary care or pediatrician should be involved in medically managing your symptoms and refer to additional specialists as necessary. The specialists who should be involved in all aspects of the treatment plan with regard to syringomyelia is a neurosurgeon in collaboration with your primary care and or pediatrician and other members of your care team. Our model of care is available in our toolkit to further define other specialties and the vital role they have in the management of syringomyelia. Syringomyelia can affect many systems of the body throughout the lifespan of the patient and other specialists may be needed, such as neurology, neuro-ophthalmology, pulmonology, cardiology, endocrinology, gastroenterology, urology, OBGYN, pain management, physical therapy, psychology, and palliative care. Diagnosis of Syringomyelia The symptoms of syringomyelia can mimic those of other conditions, so diagnosis can be difficult. Some cases have been initially misdiagnosed as multiple sclerosis or Lou Gehrig's disease. If you have seen your doctor with any of the symptoms listed and traditional tests have not revealed the cause, consider asking your doctor about syringomyelia. Testing for syringomyelia initially includes detailed medical history, physical examination, MRI of the brain, cervical, thoracic, and lumbar spine. Sign MRI may be used to look at the flow of cerebrospinal fluid. CT myelogram may be used to look for problems in the spinal canal, the cord, and nerve roots as determined by a neurosurgeon who understands the disease syringomyelia. Treatment for syringomyelia includes ongoing medical management. The primary care physician and pediatrician are responsible for ongoing management of the disease with neurosurgery and other specialists as needed throughout the lifespan of the individual that has the disease. If you have the disease and are not having symptoms, then monitoring may be all that is needed for a time period until symptoms arise. Medications. Syringomyelia can't be cured with medication. However, your care team will determine what medications may be used to alleviate symptoms. Pain management serves an important role to evaluate and treat the moderate to severe pain that can accompany this disease. Surgery. Normally recommended by the neurosurgeon to treat syringomyelia if an underlying cause has been identified that can be surgically corrected to alleviate symptoms. If a tumor is causing the syringomyelia and it can be removed, then surgery may correct the problem. If it is Chiari type 1 malformation, surgery aims to provide more room at the base of the skull around the malformation, improving the flow of cerebrospinal fluid, at the same time causing the cyst to shrink. In some cases, draining the cernix can alleviate symptoms. However, surgery may be needed again in the future and the decision to have surgery should be carefully reviewed with the neurosurgeon and your care team, carefully considering your overall health and any complications you may have at the time. Surgery can improve the quality of life for some individuals to help alleviate symptoms. Shunting. In some cases, a thin tube is inserted into the cernix to drain the fluid and redirect the flow of cerebrospinal fluid. There are many different types of shunts, and the decision of which one to use should be determined by your neurosurgeon. Shunts can become clogged or break, and surgery may need to be repeated in the future. The decision to try shunting should be carefully discussed with your neurosurgeon, as well as the benefits versus the risks. Shunting may be recommended by the neurosurgeon when hydrocephalus is present to help alleviate symptoms when other surgical methods are not an option. Early intervention is key. At the first sign of symptoms, notify your primary care or pediatrician who should notify the neurosurgeon and any other appropriate specialists. Early intervention can prevent permanent, irreversible damage. If you do not seek intervention when you first develop symptoms, they may become permanent. Primary care and neurosurgery should be involved in all aspects of your care throughout your lifespan.
Worldwide Syringomyelia and Chiari Task Force is led by a registered nurse with Syringomyelia. Nurses and physicians lead this organization because they are your advocates. Membership is free. We provide free patient materials and advocacy tools to help you in your journey with the disease. Simply request your toolkit by email wstfcure at wstfcure.org. Members who have used our educational toolkits for their appointments reported improved understanding and direct care from their medical team about their disease, syringomyelia. The educational toolkits can be used to educate attorneys about your disease when applying for disability, leading to greater success rates when it becomes necessary to apply. We need your help. Your donations enable Worldwide Syringomyelia and Chiari Task Force Inc. to distribute educational materials to the medical community and public, provide our nurse educators the ability to deliver updated education to nurses and physicians about syringomyelia and Chiari, utilizing broadcasting and seminars at nursing conferences, and we are working towards providing in-services with medical facilities. Develop treatment protocols and first models of care to improve direct care for individuals affected by syringomyelia and Chiari. Launch our SOS project, International Registry, and HIPAA compliant survey tools for the first ever natural history study of syringomyelia. Furnish mobility equipment and prescription assistance to individuals with a diagnosis of syringomyelia that meet our screening protocol. Deliver excellent resources improving continuity of care across all specialties in medicine for individuals all over the world who bravely battle syringomyelia and Chiari on a daily basis. Two ways to donate today to our 501c3 charity. One, you may donate by mail. Worldwide Syringomyelia and Chiari Task Force Incorporated, P.O. Box 491975, Lawrenceville, Georgia, 30049. Donate directly on our website on the donation page. Your donation is made on a first data secure server by Bank of America directly on our website. A receipt will be mailed to you upon checkout. We accept donations from $1 and up. Thank you for your generosity and helping us with our mission to educate the world about syringomyelia. Here is our founder and CEO's favorite quote by Florence Nightingale. Rather 10 times die in the surf heralding the way to a new world, then stand idly on the shore. This commercial was produced in honor of all those who have bravely fought and passed away with Syringomyelia and Chiari. We will never forget.